Hello, good morning, and welcome back to the channel. My details on Miami Blue 991.1 2017 Porsche Carrera. I know it's been a while since the last episode was uploaded. <clears throat> Honestly, the diary has been managed. I've been really trying to accommodate as many jobs and keeping customers happy as possible. Thus, finding it difficult to pick up the camera. The last episode, the racing green, lizard green, 991.2 Porsche GT3 RS. And since then, between then and now, there has been a handful of cars, which I will do a slideshow of imagery uh, shortly. But first, Miami Blue Carrera, here for a front end PPF, two stage paint correction, coatings and wheel refurbishments. The wet work has been done already, the car has come inside. There's some work to do on the bonnet before the film goes down. But actually what I want to show you is this. This is an experiment by me. This is a very small section of PPF and as you've seen, I've started to remove it already. And those that follow my details over on Instagram, you may have seen this already. Started to remove it, but actually figured it was worth picking the camera up and showing everybody else. So one light, swirly paint work. It's been washed, decontaminated with chemical, not yet clay barred. Let me just kill the bit of light so it's easy to see because the colour is difficult to photograph. Swirly and hazy, swirly and hazy, swirly and hazy. Some decent scratches in the mix and then as we go across onto the PPF. That is Suntec Reaction PPF directly over the top of the paint. No special preparation, um, just a soapy water mix, alcohol wipe and slapped on. Quite amazing, really. So, does paintwork need to be perfect before PPF application? In my opinion, although I've been doing paint correction for the last 15 years, no, it doesn't, clearly. This car is about to receive a single stage polish, a single cut. It isn't gonna be anywhere near perfect. Could have quite easily gone ahead and thrown PPF down on this wing. And you'd be none the wiser. Another party trick for the film is Bit. Okay, so now paintwork, PPF, we have scratches, marring, not surprisingly, gritty hand on the surface. Tricky to do on the tripod to try and keep the light consistent, but heat gun. With the use of a heat gun or hot water or the car left outside on a sunny day, panel temperatures can get pretty warm out there. We are now left with one defect free section of PPF once again. Self healing, it's magic. So not only does it hide the swirls and defects that are underneath, should there be any, I mean a brand new car, the application of PPF on a brand new model, factory fresh, is ideal because the stone chips, the earlier it goes down the better. But on a used car, there's an amount of prep we can do and then the self-healing function is gonna keep things sweet for many months and years ahead. And then once again, PPF removed, we have uh, defects present all the way across. It's gonna be somewhat of a highlights reel this episode, hopefully not too long. Um, we've got a lot of work ahead on the car, but for now, clay bar decontamination, get it onto the ramp, get the front end polished, mirrors, bonnet, wings, bumper. I'm gonna throw down some additional freebies for the owner, one of which being the standard OEM guard section of PPF down here. In certain lights, uh, you may be able to see that this being quite old and an old technology film now um, is yellowed a little bit. Outside, it's quite clear to see the color difference. So they are already plotted within these rolls. Bonnet, bumper and wings, uh, an assortment of stuff 
including the stone guards, and then also glass, paint, paint, glass, glass, paint, glass, paint, glass, PPF, 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 more freebies for the owner. Because not only is it more practical to get the film down on the very delicate gloss black surfaces, I would actually prefer to PPF them than polish them and spend, spend time trying to get them perfect. So single polish, single polish, single polish, PPF, and then two stage correction, two stage correction, two stage correction, and coatings. That is the front end to be PPF'd sections polished. Now, on the table over there is my broken tripod. Pick up the camera for the first time in five, six weeks and the camera tripod decides to uh, fail. So, as you can see, it's got some war wounds anyway, but the failure is here, 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 a bit more over there. Doing a bit of research on which to replace it with, I'd like to try and maintain the pistol grip on top. It works well for video, uh, but next day delivery in Amazon, fingers crossed. Otherwise, I'll have to make do for this one. So the front end has had the orange HDO light microfiber cut pad of yellow Kosh Kemi. Switching now to the blue Lake Country HDO microfiber cutting pads, and we're gonna attack Doors rear quarter as much as much the car as I can now for the rest of the day. Uh, Schoolboy error on my part is that uh, there's a delay in the paint touch up, the Miami blue touch up paint required for more to pull stone chips, which want doing before the film go down. Touch it up, sand it, polish it back, touch it up and flat it. Even on the non to be PPF'd areas in the door here, there's a nice chip there. So I'll work down the near side of the vehicle now doing the two stage cuts. When the touch up arrives, get that down so it can dry overnight. Deal with the sanding and polishing again in the morning. Take the vehicle outside, rinse it off, and then tomorrow, and the best part of Wednesday, will be the application of film.
as you've seen, I've been around the car, I've been around most of the car with the cutting already now. The idea was senior stage, outside, rinse, PPF. But actually, it made sense to wait for the paint touch up. Should have had that in early, I should have ordered that in early doors. So, touch up arrived late last night, touch ups down to the front end, and then this morning, I buzzed over some of the highest areas, the worst areas with 3000 grit paper, which I'll buzz over now, level down, outside rinse, back in, film. PPF down and then the gloss black sections on the roof and the engine cover. This is going to now be wrapped around the side to protect the edges all the way around. Taking the badge out of the film goes into the recess there. The badge will go over the top and then there it just tucks and tucks with a little point on top. Lovely.
PPF complete on the Porsche. There are improvements to be made still over the next eight, 10, 12 hours as things, the moisture dries out and things settle. Very much improved the front end. PPF over a already weathered panel adds a new layer of lacquer, essentially. This looks fabulous. It looks way better than it did before with the added protection for future stone chips and resilience for self-healing swirls and scratches. Taped up once again to crack on now with the polishing. The only areas I didn't manage to cut before was the rear bumper, tail lights, and this door in the side strips. A portion of the side strip is actually the stone guard. It's like a textured weather strip that runs down the bottom. Uh, but certainly the inch below the door and above that, and that itself will get cut, polished. With the cutting the complete, I should be able to get the cutting done today. If not one of the panels, I'm gonna choose the door, save the bumper for tomorrow. It's 10 to four. Cutting complete, get the refining done. Use neat alcohol to wipe the surfaces and then use Modesta's primer ahead of Modesta coatings. So all that to follow, the wheels, I don't know why I've taken the wheels off the car, if I'm honest. They're gonna be refurbished, and next week I have a M340i BMW here. So the Porsche needs to go through next door, raised on axle stands, jacked up for the wheels to come off again. So actually there was no point in taking the wheels off. It was just habit, it was just routine, part of the process. But the calipers may as well be tidied up and coated as well as the arches at this point before it goes through next door. Some of the polish residue tidied up and removed from the plastic trims before the PPF on the bumper was done. Gloss black sections, looking smart. I'm sure you've seen this already by now. Look at that. What a fabulous interior. That's nice to see as well. Manual.
guys, that is the lot for now until the wheels are back and can't do any more. Um, finished. But, uh, yeah, I don't think I explained it very well earlier on, the fact that the wheels have been refurbished. My guys couldn't get them in this week. It was a very last minute sort of request from the owner of the car to say, by the way, can you do the wheels at the same time? Not this week, no, but next week we can. Oh, 07846. <clears throat> Good afternoon, what do you tell us? It is, speaking, yes. Uh, I forget what we're saying now, um, to be honest, but on that note, if you have inquired recently, there's been a lot coming through. I am very much behind still, and as of today's date, I think 27th of May, I'm into the back end of, I think July is now fully booked, so I'm into August. Um, but there's a ton of inquiries, and most of which is PPF, which is great. I have, yeah, I've been, I've been enjoying the PPF side of things as a bit of an update. I wish, I wish I did it sooner, to be honest. So a quick recap then on the Carrera. The PPF to the bonnet, the bumper, the mirrors, the gloss black sections up high on the roof, and the engine cover. Bonnet, wings, bumper, impact protection, and of course the self-healing, which you saw at the start of the episode. Two stage correction to the rest of the vehicle, chasing 70 to 80% defect removal via paint correction processes. Medasta BCO4 for the paint and PPF ceramic coating, and eventually the rims will be coated as well with Medasta BCO6, as well as the calipers. Be sure to follow my details over on Instagram for daily behind the scenes and updates. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and bye for now. Yeah, yeah. Really, that's going throughout as well as inside and out. 